The natural aromatherapeutic ingredients of the Creative Spa line of products are designed to start at the hands and feet and work their way to the mind and spirit via the senses. Following is a comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorial which demonstrates how to use each of the unique products in the spa manicure and spa pedicure lines, along with tips for how to properly care for cuticles and nails and to perform massage during each of the services. By the end of the video, you will see how these superior nail care systems can help you to significantly enhance your service offerings and, as a result, increase service revenues. To create a manicure that's uplifting, refreshing, and energizing, we chose ingredients with a sunny disposition. Spa Manicure is an energizing, restorative line of fresh, citrusy products packed with advanced moisturizers and antioxidant vitamins C and E to protect against environmental damage and help restore a youthful appearance to the skin. When your client arrives, have them wash their hands with citrus soak. Citrus soak is an ultra-mild hand soak and cleanser with a revitalizing citrus scent. It contains a mild cleansing agent that hydrates skin and coconut oil derivative, which produces a light lacy foam that also helps to condition and soften skin. Next, sanitize your hands and your client's hands with cool blue. Thoroughly remove existing nail enamel using an acetone-based polish remover and a fiber-free pad. Shape and smooth the nail's free edge with a 240 grit abrasive, such as the Kanga board. A quality abrasive with a grit level of 240 or higher allows you to file from side to side without ripping or separating nail layers. For a water-based manicure, squeeze a small amount of citrus soak into a soaking dish. Fill with warm water and agitate to mix and create foam. Soak the client's fingertips for three to five minutes. Note how the citrus soak brightens the water and fills the room with a lovely citrus scent. For clients that have a difficult time keeping enamel on natural nails, skip this phase. Use cuticle remover to eliminate stubborn cuticle from nail plate. Cuticle Remover contains moisturizing ingredients, including aloe vera to prevent over-drying of the skin and nails. Apply a liberal amount evenly around the base of each nail. Gently slide the cuticle pusher along the nail plate to loosen the cuticle. Since the eponychium protects the matrix, it is risky to push it back. If you must push it back, do so with care. Use a manicure nipper to carefully remove the loosened, non-living cuticle, as well as any loose pieces of skin or hangnails. Rinse hands thoroughly with warm water and towel dry. Next, create a moisture pack for the nail plates and surrounding tissue using AHA cuticle eraser and solar oil. The combination of these two products applied at the beginning of the spa manicure assures deep penetration of their exfoliating, hydrating, and moisturizing ingredients for the most meticulous cuticles possible. Cuticle Eraser is an intensive alpha hydroxy acid complex of glycolic and lactic acid which exfoliates and hydrates unwanted skin. When used daily, cuticle eraser will keep the nail plate free of non-living cuticle and will help prevent hangnails. Solar oil is a blend of four naturally light oils, including vitamin E for anti-aging, rice bran oil for conditioning, sweet almond oil for softening, and jojoba oil for penetration. Together, these oils work to deeply moisturize skin and plasticize nails. Used nightly before bed, solar oil penetrates even through nail enamel and has a cumulative effect over time, providing increased protection with every application. Next, gently buff the surface of the nail with the 1200 grit side of the Koala Buffer Abrasive to smooth surface imperfections. Exfoliating crystals are a rich blend of crystalline citric acid with vitamin C and E for first phase exfoliation of the hands and arms. 
Using the spatula, place a large scoop of exfoliating crystals onto your hand. Using both of your hands, smooth exfoliating crystals onto the client's hand and arm until they are evenly distributed. Use slow effleurage or long massage strokes on the arm and hand. Hold the client's hand with one hand and perform effleurage with your other hand, moving up the forearm with firm pressure and back down the back of the arm with your palm up using light pressure. Use your thumb to place pressure along the muscles between the two long bones of the forearm. Allow your working hand to finish at the palm of the client's hand. The vitamin C in exfoliating crystals will protect the skin from environmental and sun damage and replenish the skin's natural reserve of this valuable element. The vitamin E helps to reduce the visible signs of aging and acts as a deep penetrating natural skin moisturizer. Exfoliating crystals provide dual exfoliation benefits. Tiny citric acid crystals act as a physical exfoliator, loosening the bond between dead surface skin cells and preparing the skin for deeper chemical exfoliation. Next, using both of your hands, place your thumbs on the back of the client's hand and your fingers on the client's palm. Spread apart the top of the hand as you effleurage down to the sides. Repeat this two to three times. Exfoliating crystals are specifically designed and pH balanced to be used in conjunction with Crystal Activator. To activate the exfoliating crystals, pump an equal amount of Crystal Activator onto the hand and massage it into the client's hand and arm using the same effleurage massage techniques as before. Next, use Petrissage Compression Massage Strokes, starting at the client's hand. With your thumbs on the back of the hand and your fingers on the palm of the hand, squeeze toward the forearm with alternating hands, working your way up to the elbow. Effleurage back down and allow the stroke to continue all the way to the tips of the fingers. Repeat this two to three times. Crystal Activator is an ultra-moisturizing serum with aloe and vitamin E. When massaged into exfoliating crystals, it dissolves them, releasing citric acid into the skin and restoring skin to its proper pH balance while providing deep moisturization. Now, beginning with the thumb, squeeze from the base to the tip of each finger, pivoting your wrist back and forth as you do so. Cover the entire surface of the finger. Repeat on all fingers. Finish with effleurage up the forearm to the elbow and down the back of the arm. Leave the serum on the hands and arms and apply warmth. This can be done by wrapping them in warm towels and allowing the serum to penetrate for three to five minutes. Or by dipping each hand in paraffin wrapping it in plastic and following with a warm, moist towel or heated mitts. The warmth will allow the alpha hydroxy acid to penetrate more deeply and the rich serum to nourish skin with vitamins E, C, and aloe vera. After five minutes, remove the towels or the paraffin and wipe hands and arms with a warm, moist towel. Finishing Lotion is a facial quality moisturizer rich in ceramides which defends against the visible signs of aging and restores elasticity to the skin. The combination of ceramides which are normally found in expensive eye creams, vitamin E, phospholipids and squalene will help restore skin to its natural suppleness and elasticity. Pump a generous amount of finishing lotion onto the hand and massage it into the client's hand and arm using effleurage and petrissage techniques. It is wonderful for daily use to help ward against environmental assaults and to prolong the results of the spa manicure.
Pull back the lateral folds with your fingers and use a curette in sweeping C-strokes to thoroughly remove the cuticle from the nail plate up to but not beyond the eponychium and lateral fold. Be sure to work along both lateral folds and the eponychium area to remove any remaining cuticle. If necessary, use a manicure nipper to remove any remaining pieces of non-living tissue around the nail. The nail and surrounding skin should now be perfectly detailed and ready for nail enamel. Use Scrub Fresh, the one-step nail prep, to cleanse and dehydrate the nails. Gently pull the lateral folds back with your fingers and scrub all 10 nails with a fiber-free pad, concentrating on the cuticle and lateral walls where oil and dust can hide. Apply one thin coat of base coat. Use your choice of Toughen Up, a natural nail base coat and toughener for thin, weak nails, or Sticky, a soft, sticky base coat designed to anchor nail enamel to natural nails. Next, prepare enamel for application by rolling the bottle upside down between your palms to blend and thin. Apply one thin coat of enamel and allow to dry. Follow up with a second coat of enamel for full coverage and allow to dry. Seal and protect with your choice of top coat. Use either Super Shiny, a super hard high gloss top coat, or Speedy, a fast dry top coat with UV absorbers. Finish with a thin coat of Dry and Shine, a conditioning enamel dryer and shine enhancer. Allow the dry and shine to become dull, then wipe with a fiber-free pad or cotton ball to bring the surface of the nail to a high gloss dry finish. Spa Pedicure treats feet to a day at the beach with natural aromatherapeutic elements from the sea. Ingredients include quartz crystals, natural beach sand, sea kelp, mineral salts, and pure serenity. Spa Pedicure products do much more than just exfoliate, nourish, and smooth the feet. They leave the spirit radiant and glowing. Begin by sanitizing your hands with cool blue. Fill the foot bath with warm water. Add one level scoop of Sea Rock Soak to the water and agitate with your hand to dissolve. Sea Rock Soak is a softening, hydrating, aromatherapeutic foot bath treatment containing tea tree oil, fragrant eucalyptus oil, softening rice bran oil, dead sea salts, and vitamin E. Submerge the client's feet and ankles in the bath and add water as necessary to adjust the temperature. If you're using a vibrating unit, squeeze a small amount of foaming sea soak into the bath and agitate the water to create a lovely foam. Foaming Sea Soak is a concentrated seaweed soak with a light lacy foam and fresh fragrance that cleanses, soothes, and deodorizes. Add one level scoop of Sea Rock Soak to the water and submerge the client's feet. Soak the client's feet for five minutes. While the feet are soaking, lay disinfected implements on a clean, sanitized towel. Remove feet from water and dry thoroughly. Remove nail enamel from the toenails. Next, use cuticle remover to eliminate stubborn cuticle from the nail plate. Apply a liberal amount evenly around the base of the nails. Gently slide the plastic pusher or orange wood stick along the nail plate to loosen the cuticle. Don't push back the eponychium on the toenails. This tissue is soft and moist and can be torn easily. Always use care during this step. Use a cuticle nipper to carefully remove the loosened, non-living cuticle, as well as any loose pieces of skin or hangnails. Rinse thoroughly with warm water and towel dry. 
Create a moisture pack for the nail plate and surrounding tissue using cuticle eraser and solar oil. Massage the moisture pack into each cuticle. The combination of these two products applied at the beginning of the spa pedicure assures deep penetration of their exfoliating, hydrating, and moisturizing ingredients for the most meticulous cuticles possible. Use the Koala Buffer on the 240 side to lightly buff all nail surfaces in the direction of nail growth, being sure to smooth ridges and thin the surface of thickened nails. Sea Salt Glow is the ultimate mineral scrub, a blend of mineral and dead sea salts which mildly exfoliate and reduce inflammation, and vitamin E and rice bran oils which soften, moisturize, and leave the skin with a beautiful glow. With a spatula, place one large scoop of Sea Salt Glow into the hand. Using both hands, utilize effleurage and petrissage massage techniques to evenly distribute the product onto the client's foot and calf. First, use effleurage massage strokes on the calf. These are long, smooth strokes. Hold the ankle with one hand and perform effleurage with the free hand up the front of the calf and down the back. Allow your working hand to finish at the back of the ankle switch hands and repeat with the alternate hand. Use stronger pressure going up toward the heart for circulation and lighter pressure coming back down. Next, use petrissage massage strokes on the calf. These are shorter compression strokes. Begin with the ankle with thumbs on top of the calf and fingers on the back. Squeeze the calf with alternating hands, working your way up to the back of the knee. Use your whole body, rocking gently left and right. Effleurage back down to the ankle and pull gently with both hands. Lean back while you do this to relieve pressure on your lower back. Repeat this two to three times. Next, apply friction to the calf with alternating hands. These are circular movements. Holding the ankle with one hand Use the heel of the free hand just above the foot and begin clockwise circular movements up toward the knee. Effleurage back down to the ankle and pull gently with both hands. Alternate the working hand and repeat the entire sequence. Next, massage the heel. Beginning at the ankle, reach behind the ankle and pull the foot toward you. Holding the ankle with one hand, squeeze the heel with the thumb and index finger using the working hand. Squeeze six times, covering the sides of the heel. Now, effleurage the foot. With fingers on top of the foot and thumbs on the bottom sides, pull from the heel to the toes using the side edges of the index fingers. The hand should have full contact gripping the foot all the way to the toes. Lean back as you pull. Effleurage hands back to the heel and repeat the process three times. Be sure to work only as deeply as is comfortable for your client. Ask them about the kind of pressure they prefer. Next, petrissage the bottom of the foot. With fingers on top of the foot and thumbs on the bottom, squeeze the entire underside of the foot paying special attention to the inside of the arch. Using the fingers, spread apart the top of the foot and finish with an effleurage stroke. Next, work on the toes. Beginning with the big toe, squeeze the toe from the base to the tip, pivoting your wrist as you do so. Be sure to cover the entire surface of the toe. Repeat this movement on all toes. Finally, apply friction to the foot. This is a vibration movement. Holding your hands on the left and right sides of the foot, rub the foot vigorously as if trying to warm it. Be sure the hands and fingers have full contact with the foot. Finish up with an effleurage stroke. Rinse the foot and dry. Next, smooth one heaping spatula of AHA sea scrub along the sole and heel of the foot, avoiding the skin on top of the foot. 
Sea Scrub is an aromatic foot scrub with quartz crystals, natural beach sand, and a marine alpha hydroxy acid complex for effective exfoliation of rough, dry skin. Gently massage for two or three minutes, concentrating on the areas of extreme dryness only. Rinse foot in the tub and wipe dry. Sea scrub can be used in conjunction with or instead of sea salt glow, depending on the needs of the client. Using a gauze pad or cotton ball, generously apply sea serum to calluses and dry spots on the bottom of the foot. Sea serum is a highly effective concentrated callus treatment with 20% alpha hydroxy acid complex. Penetrating ingredients break down the toughest calluses, while protective ingredients soothe sensitive skin. Be sure to rinse your fingers in the foot bath after use. Wrap the foot in a clean terry towel and allow the sea serum to penetrate while you begin work on the other foot. Repeat sea salt glow massage or application of sea scrub or both, depending on your preference on the second foot. Then follow up with sea serum and wrap in a clean terry towel. Unwrap the foot and run the callus smoother over calloused areas in circular motions to reduce and smooth. Rinse the foot completely and towel dry. Repeat this process on the second foot. Marine Mask is a rejuvenating aromatherapy foot mask enhanced with hydrating sea extracts, conditioning mineral clays and soothing botanicals. It leaves feet feeling soft, moisturized, and cool long after the pedicure is complete. With a spatula, place one large scoop of marine mask into the hand and massage onto the client's foot. Use the heel, foot, and toe massage techniques detailed earlier to evenly distribute the product onto the foot. Wrap the foot in a clean terry towel and allow marine mask to permeate. Repeat this on the second foot. After five minutes, submerge wrapped foot into the bath and use the towel to wipe marine mask away. Remove foot from the bath, dry thoroughly, and wrap in a dry towel. Repeat this on the second foot. Massage oil is a naturally light oil with fragrant sandalwood, ling ling, and vanilla, and softening vitamin E and rice bran oil. Massage Silk is an oil-free, water-soluble massage formula with a light, universal fragrance that leaves feet feeling silky smooth, soft, and non-greasy. Unwrap foot and squeeze a small amount of massage oil or massage silk into the hand. Both products are wonderfully softening. The choice of which to use is up to you. Making sure the entire hand, palm, and fingers are touching the client, use the effleurage and petrissage massage techniques detailed earlier. Unwrap the second foot and repeat the process. Wipe any excess product from the feet with a moist towel. Next, it's time to repair extremely dry, cracked areas of the foot. Cucumber Heal Therapy is an intensive, moisturizing complex that aids in the repair of dry, cracked skin. A combination of aloe, panthenol, allantoin, and urea help to heal extremely dry skin, while cucumber extract and chamomile refresh, moisturize, and act as an anti-inflammatory. Thoroughly rub a small amount into the heels and other areas of the foot that are in need of intense moisture. Cucumber Heal Therapy is available in a retail size, great for clients with problem dry areas. Pull back the lateral folds with your fingers and use a curette in sweeping C strokes to thoroughly remove the cuticle from the nail plate, up to but not beyond the eponychium and lateral fold. Be sure to work along both lateral folds and the eponychium area to remove any remaining cuticle. If necessary, use a cuticle nipper to remove any remaining pieces of non-living tissue around the nail. Remember that any small cut or abrasion on the toe infects easily as the tissue is very fragile. 
Trim the corner of the big toenail at a 45 degree angle, holding the toenail trimmer like scissors between thumb and middle finger. Slide the tip of the trimmer under the corner at a 45 degree angle so that you can see the tip of the trimmer on the other side of the nail. This will assure against cutting soft tissue. Squeeze lightly, then cut to remove the entire corner, ensuring that you don't leave a hook or a spike behind along the lateral nail edge. Next, trim the length off the nails if necessary. Use a rasp or Kanga board abrasive to smooth and blend the lateral nail edge to the free edge on both sides. A toenail should be gently rounded in the corners. Squared toenails can encourage ingrown toenails. Finish shaping with a Kanga board to refine, smooth, and even edges. Gently buff the surface of the nail with the 1200 grit side of the Koala buffer to smooth surface imperfections. Use Scrub Fresh, the one-step nail prep, to cleanse and dehydrate the nails. Gently pull the lateral folds back with your fingers and scrub all 10 nails with a fiber-free pad, concentrating on the cuticle and lateral walls where oil and dust can hide. Place toe separators between the toes. Apply one thin coat of sticky base coat and allow to dry. Next, apply a thin coat of nail color to the toes, allow to dry, and follow up with a second coat for full coverage. Seal and protect with your choice of super shiny or speedy top coat. Finish with a thin coat of dry and shine polish dry. Allow dry and shine to become dull, then gently wipe clean with a fiber-free pad or cotton ball.